Hey everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz, the universal frequency. Balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence as well. Get a plant-based diet going for yourselves today and nurture yourself right back into life. We are literally herbivores in our nature. Further balance out your physical body's pH level and get with alkalinity. Then you can generate some static electricity. Send me some love telepathically. Set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate. That is all there is to telepathy. You are now tuning in to great days. So I'm going to go over five foods that you should avoid, okay? Um, and, and I'm going to briefly go over why you should avoid them. And uh, it's going to be a really, really uh, beneficial video to those who are looking to at least clean up their diet a little bit more, you know? So stay tuned, all right? Today's video is five foods to avoid. Now, so let's get right into the first food, all right? The, the first food that you should avoid is vegetable oil. Okay, and uh, there's many different vegetable oils, right? But uh, specifically, I'm talking about the, the vegetable oil that is uh, a very, very fatty acid, you know, very, very fatty acid vegetable oil. It's one of the cheapest vegetable oils, right? And they give you like a large amount. Uh, and it's a very, very yellow color. You know, uh, you should avoid this vegetable oil because... Um, it's because it's filled with these fatty acids and these actually are no good for your um, your internal, you know, uh, they actually start to, I wanna say they start to clog up some of your, uh, your, your arteries and such and uh, it makes it very hard to actually breathe fluently, you know, and uh, it, it just gets really bad whenever you start to to take in this vegetable oil like over excessively, you know, uh, which which a lot of people use. Like, I come from a family that is uh, like we used to we used to just like or most of us we just used to eat a lot of uh, whatever you know like anything that was in tradition and. Uh, and my family is the type to like, just use like half a bottle of, of this vegetable oil, right? Um, for, for just like, <laughs> for frying up uh, like a bread or something, uh, a tortilla, you know? So it's like, the, the tortilla is left uh, very, very dripping in oil, you know? And a lot of people are like this, and uh, it's just super unhealthy, you know? It, Cause it, it just clogs up your internal and uh, it, it just creates it, uh, various different blockages in your system, you know, and it gets bad. So it's uh, one of the foods to uh, actually avoid, or one of the, uh, if you just call it a food, an oil, you know, to avoid. Uh, you can replace it with a grape seed oil, you can replace it with a, with a hemp oil. You know, hemp oil is actually uh, pricey, but it's super, super beneficial for your body. Um, there's plenty of oils you can use olive oil uh, but I heard not to cook with it just use it for like topping things you know or salad dressing coconut oil is probably the best all right uh, don't cook with it just use it cold okay um, but yeah those are a little bit of the substitutes so uh, we can get into the next one the next one is um, we can say red meat okay uh, now, red meat you definitely should avoid because 
it's very, 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 very bad for you in the way that uh, it's it's filled with proteins, right? And this is where most people think that they need to eat it. It's because uh, it's their only source of protein, right? This is what they've been told. Um, but the truth about it is it, it, it's over excessively filled with protein. And, and when you intake too much protein, it causes cancer. And, and this is why they also say that red meat is a source of cancer because it's so filled with protein that it just causes your cells to erupt, you know, like, like in a cancerous way. And, um, and, and that's why you're, you're left with cancer or the possibility of being able to get cancer is, is, uh, is heightened when you are uh, over excessively eating red meat. You know, I'm not saying to completely uh, take it out of your diet, take it slow, you know, uh, reduce the amount that you eat by at least 50% and it's not hard it's very very easy to do that um, you gotta like distance yourself and then you'll be able to see your, your attachment to it and then once you are able to to shed some light on the attachment to it it's easy from there to to distance yourself further until uh, you're able to free yourself from it completely you know but it is one of those foods that increases the the possibility of causing cancer to you okay and uh you can have cancer and you can be completely aware of it you can have cancer and you don't always need to be in a cancer treatment center you know you, you can have it but it's just so that you can be completely unaware of it it'll just bring down your health it, it's when it gets over excessive and it, it's when if it, it's when it gets really really bad you know in your body the cancer cells start to to accumulate in high numbers is when you start to get put on the verge of death you know or, or whatever it may be uh, major imbalance cellularly um, but yeah red meat you definitely should avoid uh, I'm not gonna say all meat because I know that people uh, people they they have their meat you know but if, if you're gonna eat meat, fish is the, the best meat that you can eat because uh, it's farthest away from your organism, okay? And uh, whatever you eat that is closest to your organism, it's going to uh, emotionally, it's gonna send you into emotional turbulence, basically, or turmoil. So the closest would pretty much be a cow, you know, because we're very, very, very similar to cows, okay? Um, and if you eat beef, it sends you into this uh, emotional turbulence or this turmoil. And then uh, you'll subconsciously express that outwards, you know, that, that turmoil uh, or that, that, uh, that chaos, you know. But, but fish, it's farthest away from your organism. So it, it, it's like it won't uh, send you into that same emotional turmoil as uh, intense as as eating uh, beef would or eating a pig or even eating a chicken you know um, all of these will send you into a, a intense emotional turbulence that that uh, if you do for long enough you'll become uh, unconscious of it and then you'll just be expressing it out without even knowing that you're expressing it outwards you know um, and usually this will take place in, in, in anxiety attacks or breakdowns or, or things like this you know but I mean you could always use those as well for for uh, transformation so there's many different ways to pretty much uh, I guess transform yourself at the end of the day you know but let's get into the next one all right the next one or the next food the third food you should avoid is uh, eggs okay and uh, so many people eat eggs right so many people eat eggs and and it's another one of those foods that, that everybody thinks they need but we don't actually need eggs right uh it's just like red meat everybody thinks they need red meat for their uh protein but the truth of it is is that you don't need it at all okay um it's just that they get people addicted to this and and uh it's hard to overcome that when when uh there's nobody to help you you know but i'm here to give some information on it you know um 
So eggs, you should avoid eggs. You know, uh, a lot of people say that this is a main source of protein, right? Or it should be a main source of protein because they're there eating it every morning. But it's like, it's not. <laughs> it's, it's not a main source of protein, all right? You can get all the proteins and the vitamins that you get from eggs from any other, any other organism that has those same proteins and those same vitamins. You know, uh, you can find all of them in, in plant materials. You can find all of them in fruit, you know. Uh, so you don't truly need eggs, you know. Uh, you can find everything in the eggs that you uh, need in other things, okay. Uh, and, and eggs, they're kind of, it's kind of just like, I don't know, it's very grotesque to me. I don't want to like. I don't want to like talk on anybody uh like like bring anybody down because they eat eggs do you you know but it's just very gross to me uh, because because whenever i was like actually eating eggs back in the day like a few years ago uh the universe was like constantly showing me why not to eat eggs but then i would all i would just do it anyway you know because i'm very stubborn like this i'm I'm a uh, pretty Taurian, you know, I'm Taurus. Um, I have a lot of Taurus energy, so it's like, I'm very stubborn when it comes to where I was de deriving my pleasures from. And eggs was, uh, was a food, you know, that I was eating, so I was getting pleasure from this. And uh, the universe would, would show me very often why not to eat these eggs. And uh, it, it would show me very grotesque things about them, you know. And uh, eventually I was able to give them up, but it's like throughout that I was very stubborn in giving them up. But but now I know it was just like an addiction that I had to them that I did not even know about, you know, because you don't know about addictions until you until you distance yourself from them, and then you're able to see the attachment that was developed, you know. Um, but but if you're not able to do that, it's very hard to see the addiction that's there in the first place, you know. Uh, but yeah, the universe would, would always show me why not to eat these eggs. One time, it showed me uh, th this this full carton of eggs. You know, it, it wasn't even that old, but uh, I like went to get some egg, and uh, I just like I cracked it, and then the whole uh, the inside was just like 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 very very solid. You know, like it wasn't it wasn't dripping at all. <laughs> it wasn't liquid anymore. It was just like 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 rock solid. And uh, the eggs were, were not super old. They were probably like a week, you know. So it was just very gross. And uh, it, it was showing me a lot about eggs. Uh, the way they, they actually farm them nowadays is very, very, uh, I want to say inhuman, you know. Uh, it's just what they do to, the, to, the, to the, the, the entirety of the farm. It's just very, very, very inhumane. So... Um, there's also so many chemicals in, in, in the eggs as well. And in, in the chickens that are farming the eggs, uh, they're always, you know, giving them these different drugs that we have no idea what is in. So it's like, forget about all that. Just kind of go either eat less or, or just try and find something a little bit less, uh, a little bit less gross, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry to anybody who eats eggs. All right, but... Uh, that's just me, you know. So, if if you do want to bring up the vibration, avoid eggs, okay? Uh, you don't need to completely stop. Just reduce the, the, the intake of eggs, you know. Because, once again, you don't need to get all your proteins, all your vitals from the eggs themselves. You can find everything in them in anything else. You know, just do a little bit of research or just trust your body. Okay, uh, your body already knows what it needs. It just uh, needs to get into the flow. You need to let it flow a little bit instead of resisting. Okay, um, so we can get into the fourth one. So the fourth food is, uh, let's say, milk. Okay, dairy. We can just say dairy products. All right, uh, this is another one that everybody is addicted to. All right. Uh, no negativity or, or anything like that or, or no um, downing anybody but 
it's the truth. People are addicted to these things. You know, red meat. So many people are addicted to this. Uh, milk is one of these. Dairy products in general. Uh, it's just very, very addicting. And it's not like, it's not super bad. It's just uh, specifically where most of the, the, the milk is coming from nowadays. It's very, very, uh, it's very, very badly farmed, just like the eggs. You know, uh, the, the cows, they're treated very badly for one, and that already affects the, the product, you know, whenever there's a tormented animal or a stressed animal, it pretty much uh, affects the, the, the milk that it's giving, you know? It's like, if, if the animal is, is uh, tormented a little bit or abused, the milk, it's gonna carry that vibration of the, the animal and then as you drink it, it's literally being transmitted into you. And then you're gonna feel the exact same way the animal is being treated, you know, or, or uh, you're gonna pretty much take in that same vibration. And, and what they do is, is they pretty much hoard these cows, uh, these animals, and, and they're abused in, in a mass number. And uh, it's all carried on to the individual, so it's like, just easier to avoid it you know um, you can go with like with like special milks you know uh, like from from uh, specialized farms you know that, that don't use drugs or anything like that or that take care of the animals um, and you can always do that you know and it's way better so um, it's it's really your choice you know but uh, some alternatives would just be like coconut milk you know or almond milk or hemp milk, or uh, any of the, any of the milks that are just not uh, animal based. You know, this is kind of just like a plant based video anyway. Um, but these are foods to avoid for I want to say uh, more electrical connection, okay? Because all of these foods are also very acidic, and uh, acidic foods they pretty much generate mucus in your body, and then it makes it hard to. Uh, it makes it hard to do anything, you know, because your nose gets clogged up and you can't breathe. It gets very uncomfortable and then you're just having a bad day after that, you know, because uh, it, it affects your emotion and your thought. Um, so it's like just easier to pretty much um, go with, it with, with some cleaner product, you know. Um, that's pretty much it uh, for, for that one, for milk. So I guess we can get into the fifth one. And I want to say to avoid sugar, okay? And everybody, everybody has an addiction to sugar, right? No matter what type of sugar it may be, everybody has an addiction to sugar, okay? But specifically, you want to avoid white sugar, you know, just like the, the granulated sugar, the the very uh, regular sugar, you know. Cane sugar is all right. Uh, date sugar, coconut sugar, all these sugars are all right. Just avoid, try to avoid regular white sugar, you know, like the granulated sugar, I think it's what it's called, uh, or just the white sugar, you know. Um, you want to avoid this one because it actually leads to, I want to say, uh, cholesterol buildup and it leads to to uh once again your arteries being clogged up and and this type of internal cloggage or blockage you know and 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 when this is uh riddled throughout your body it makes it very hard to just like be you know it makes it very hard to just exist um without having some sort of like imbalance you know because since there's cloggages in your body that you aren't even aware of half the time, it makes it hard to, to stay in a balanced state or, or a, a state of oneness or a, a healthy state, you know? Um, and, and that's a reason why you should avoid the sugar, which they put it in literally everything. So it makes it hard to avoid, you know, you go and get a loaf of bread, you look at the ingredient list and, and there's sugar in it, you know? It's, and they're using white sugar, they're not using cane sugar uh, because they would put cane sugar on it, 
they're using just regular white sugar and and this sugar is uh it's very bad for you you know uh but but a lot of people have addictions to it so it's like one of those things where you just got to try and 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 give up so you can distance yourself from it so that you can uh see the the addiction or see the attachment and uh you can start working on a type of transformation you can substitute it with like agave syrup you know you can substitute it with maple syrup you can substitute it with cane sugar you can substitute it with coconut sugar i've been having a great time with coconut sugar as as of late uh it's probably like the best i don't know if it's the most healthiest but it's i know it's better than just regular white sugar uh i want to say date sugar is probably going to be the healthiest or date syrup okay um dates or you can just go with like dried fruit in itself you know uh as a topping instead of white sugar you can chop up dates you can chop up figs you can use raisins you can use uh cherries dried up and uh they're gonna be just as sweet as as sugar or even better you know and they're not as bad for you because they don't cause that same internal blockage as a uh, regular white sugar would you know so um definitely want to avoid white sugar you know um because it causes these in block are these blockages um, but yeah that's pretty much it that's five foods to avoid i'll probably do another uh video on this covering five more foods to definitely avoid uh to bring up your vibration because it's most definitely needed during this time and uh i know that people definitely need the information if they're not getting it uh, so i can be a source and uh, we can all help each other you know so that's pretty much going to be the video today. I hope everybody did enjoy and I hope I did uh, benefit you or I hope I did get a little uh, light within you. <laughs> okay, so subscribe over here to the left of me and help me uh, expand my channel. Drop a like on the video to the right of me and support the channel once I again. Generate some static electricity from the etheric body or the first layer of the aura. It needs to be strengthened and realized for the collective rise in consciousness. I love you, everybody. Have a great day and peace out.